Like any star, it will run out of fuel in its core and it starts changing, it starts bloating and getting so large that it will engulf the orbit of Mercury and Venus and come very close to Earth. So imagine looking on the horizon and sunrise is half the sky. Have you ever wondered which star in our Milky Way might go supernova next? Well, astronomers have their bets on Betelgeuse, the bright red supergiant star that marks Orion's shoulder. And guess what? This vibrant red supergiant star is nearing the end of its celestial life. What's even more exciting is that it's less than 1,000 light years away from Earth. But here's the big question, how close is Betelgeuse to going supernova? And more importantly, will we be lucky enough to witness this awe-inspiring cosmic event? Astronomers usually estimate it could explode within the next 100,000 years. Now, that might seem soon in the universe's grand scheme, but from a human perspective, it's a bit disappointing, isn't it? However, hold on to your telescopes because new research suggests our previous estimates might have been off. Welcome to Astro World, where stargazing stories are told. Betelgeuse, located in the constellation Orion, is like the rock star of stars, it's one of the most recognizable and beloved celestial beings in the sky. Its vibrant red hue and prominent position have made it a favorite among both stargazers and astronomers. But what truly sets Betelgeuse apart is its mysterious behavior that keeps scientists on their toes. Betelgeuse is what we call a variable star because it loves to pulsate and show off. It expands and contracts in size over time, like a cosmic breathing exercise. And let me tell you, this pulsation is no small feat, it causes Betelgeuse's brightness to fluctuate, making it one of the brightest stars in the sky at times, and then dimming significantly at others. But wait, there's more to Betelgeuse than just its flashy moves. This star is a true giant, with a diameter over a thousand times larger than our sun. It's so massive that if we placed it at the center of our solar system, it would swallow up all the inner planets, including our dear Earth, and stretch all the way to Jupiter. Betelgeuse isn't just a big star, it's also nearing the end of its life. Yes, this behemoth of a star is on its cosmic deathbed, the recent dimming of Betelgeuse has the scientific community buzzing with excitement. In late 2019 and early 2020, Betelgeuse experienced a mysterious dimming event like never before. It lost a significant portion of its brightness, leaving scientists scratching their heads in wonder. Theories emerged left and right, but one stood out and was later confirmed by the James Webb Space Telescope. It turns out that Betelgeuse had expelled a massive cloud of dust, partially obscuring its light from our view. According to a study by Hideyuki Seo from Tohoku University in Japan, Betelgeuse might be further along in its evolution and closer to exploding than we initially thought. The basis for their claim is due to Betelgeuse's pulsations. This star is a bit of a show-off, regularly breathing with overlapping overtones. Astronomers have observed changes in its brightness over different periods of 2,200 days, 420 days, 230 days, and 185 days. Usually, astronomers consider the 420-day period as the primary pulsation, with the shorter cycles acting as overtones. Interestingly, the 2,200-day cycle or six-year period isn't part of these pulsations. Instead, it's the secondary period of unknown origin that's common among supergiant stars. Now, here's where things get fascinating. If the 420-day period is the primary one, Betelgeuse would be so massive that you could line up 800 to 900 suns in a row. Imagine that. Placed in our solar system, it would almost reach the orbit of Jupiter. But Co and his colleagues argue that it's unlikely and that our previous estimation might underestimate Betelgeuse's size. If the 2200-day cycle is the primary one and the rest are overtones, Betelgeuse would be even more massive, spanning the equivalent of 1200 suns. That's wider than Jupiter's orbit. And with its larger size, the star would be further along in its life cycle. Stars like Betelgeuse leave fast and large. Just like our sun, they begin by fusing hydrogen into helium within their cores. 
but they quickly move on to fusing helium into carbon. As carbon burns, it creates heavier elements around the core, while lighter elements burn in shells, causing the star to expand like a hot plasma balloon. To unravel the secrets of Betelgeuse, CO used computer simulations to track the star's evolution from birth to old age. By analyzing the pulsations at each stage, he found that all four observed pulsations can be explained by a breathing star in the late stages of carbon burning. Fascinating, right? Now, let's address the burning question, when will Betelgeuse run out of carbon? It's a bit tricky to determine because the pulsation periods don't change significantly at this late stage. CO admits that it's hard to pinpoint the exact amount of carbon remaining in the core, but they speculate it's probably less than a few hundred years until it's depleted. Now let's put things in perspective. CO's group isn't claiming Betelgeuse will explode tomorrow or even in the next decade. Instead, they suggest that within the next thousand years, this star will go out with a cosmic bang. That might seem like a long time for us, but in astronomical terms, it's relatively soon. Oh, and let's not forget about the fascinating pulsations. The 2200-day cycle presents us with some other mind-boggling facts. Spectroscopic measurements reveal that Betelgeuse's surface expands and contracts at a staggering rate of 1.5 kilometers per second. That's like cosmic yoga on steroids. Moreover, the 2200-day pulsation would also influence the pulsation of the overtones. For example, the 400-day cycle wouldn't always last 400 days. When Betelgeuse expands to its full size, this overtone would lengthen, and when it shrinks, it would shorten. These changes would repeat systematically every 2200-day cycle. However, it's worth noting that Betelgeuse's long-term light curve varies more randomly around the typical 400-day cycle, and we haven't observed evidence for this systematic pattern. So, what does all this mean? Betelgeuse, our red superstar, is at least 8 million years old and in the final stages of its life cycle. Having burned through the hydrogen in its core, it's now a ticking cosmic time bomb, a supernova explosion that will leave us in awe. Will we be able to witness the explosive grand finale of Betelgeuse? Well, if we could stick around for another couple of thousand years, then absolutely. Just imagine the incredible spectacle it would be, the night sky lit up by a brilliant explosion, painting the heavens with celestial fireworks. Keep your eyes on the cosmos, my friends, for Betelgeuse might just put on the show of a lifetime. Until then, let's marvel at the wonders of our universe and embrace the mysteries that lie beyond our planet. Happy stargazing! So, what are your thoughts? Do you think CEO's group was right? Or will Betelgeuse explode in our lifetime? Drop your comments below and let us know what you think. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.